a magnetic field exists in the region and it is given by b is equal to b naught 1 plus xl in the k direction a square loop of edge l and carrying a current i is placed with its edges parallel to the xy axis find the magnitude of the net magnetic force experienced by the loop right now let's say this is my x and y axis with a square loop fine a b c and d and let's say z is downward x y and magnetic field is downward magnetic field is given by b naught 1 plus x by l to k vector right now first of all i have to calculate the net force on the loop so i'll calculate the force on ab first of all force on ab is given by b into i into l because the complete loop carries a current i length is l so magnitude of magnetic field will be given by b naught 1 plus x by l into i into l now at f is equal to ab x is equal to 0 so the force at ab will be equal to b naught i l and the direction will be towards left fine i'll calculate the force on cd that will be given by again b naught i plus x by l to i l here x is equal to l because this length is equal to l so it comes out to be b naught into 2 into i into l and this force is towards right fine and if i talk about the force on bc and ad the force on bc and ad will be same because if i take the elementary vector like this on bc fine it is at the same distance x but the direction of force will be in upward direction similarly if i take the elementary vector at the distance x on ad then the direction of force will be downward now what is happening is if i take any elementary vector on via bc and ad the direction of force will be opposite but the magnitude will be same so the force bc and ad will get cancelled with each other so the net force due to bc and ad will be zero so the net force on the complete wire will be only due to ab and cd that is force due to ab vector plus force due to cd vector so i can write 2 b naught il minus b naught il and it gives me b naught il towards right that is my answer